How's it going everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my latest Blu-ray update. All my pickups for the month of May. And uh, another pretty small update. We got uh, 27 titles in this update. Uh, not as small as last month's. We all know last month I had 16, which was like my smallest Blu-ray Blu update in history. But still, 27 titles is a pretty small update for me. Uh, but even though it's a small update, we do got some cool stuff in this um, in this uh, video. Um, uh, in this video, you're going to see my Texas Frightmare pickups uh, when I got uh, when I was in Texas. So that's going to you know going to be an Arrow pickup. Um, we got some uh, one Scream Factory uh, that I found when I was in Texas, and a few um, uh, Vinegar Syndrome. And then other than that, we got um, just a few horror titles. Uh, we got some A to Z. We got an MVD Rewind. Uh, one still book in this update. Uh, we got a series. Um, got a couple 4K, a DVD, and we got a couple Disney. Yeah, I don't think I've had Disney in the last, I think, couple updates. But So just, you know, a lot of really cool stuff I'm excited to share with you guys. So let's quit talking and let's get into the update. All right, kicking things off with DVDs. One and only DVD in this update. We got Andre the Giant, even bigger than you imagined. I always like picking up these documentaries on, you know, the old school wrestlers of the 80s and 90s, because um, that's when I was, you know, obsessed with wrestling. Uh, I found this over at Walmart. This came out, uh, you know, last month. Um, newer uh, documentary. Um, it was really good. I actually watched it, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, just, you know, kind of interesting, kind of sad, you know, just kind of what he went through in his life, you know, being as big as he was. But uh, I always enjoy these documentaries, and I always got to grab them every time I see them, so. Okay, we got four 4K in this uh, update. I've definitely been going pretty crazy lately on 4K. Definitely been uh, uh, stacking up on them. So uh, first one up here. New to 4K last month, Feel the Dreams with Kevin Costner. Uh, probably one of my all-time favorite baseball movies, right up there with, like, uh, Major League. Uh, but uh, kind of a cool new cover, you know, kind of the same but a little bit different from the old one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just had to grab this uh, on 4K, and this is the 30th anniversary edition. So can't wait for the 4K setup to check it out. Next up here is a movie, um, when it came out, I only ended up getting the still book, and you guys know me with still books, I like to just keep the still books, you know, unwatched and untouched, um, so I've always wanted to get, like, a, just an individual slipcover edition of this movie, and I found it really cheap on 4K, and I was like, hey, what the hell, this seems like a cool movie to have on 4K, so that is the new Power Rangers movie, I think I found this for, like, Nine bucks at half price books, so it was cheap and it had the slipcover. Um, so yeah, figured I'd grab it. I was kind of uh, excited to see that this was coming to 4K, and that is Crank. Uh, this movie kicks ass. Um, the second one hasn't come to 4K. I don't know if it ever will. I didn't. I wasn't a fan of the second one. To me, it just reminded me of a remake of this one. Uh, but this one is excellent. Very very cool movie. Just super high paced movie. Is just. Check this movie out. And then the last 4K pickup is uh, a 4K from uh, Kino Lorber, believe it or not. And it actually has a slipcover. You don't really get a lot of slipcovers from Kino, but that is Hannibal. Um, I wasn't going to grab this, but I figured, you know, what the hell. Um, it's got a cool slipcover on it. Um, I, don't, I still don't understand why they released this to 4K before uh, Silence of the Lambs, but I think a lot of people, what they tell me is that since... Uh, Silence of the Lambs got released, you know, not too long ago. Uh, was it last year, or the year before that? Um, to uh, Criterion with a pretty badass new scan. Um, I think it's like a 4K scan um, on that one, but because of that, I think is what kind of why they didn't actually release it straight to 4K yet. Uh, but I just figured I'll grab it. What the hell, you know? I always like to stack up more on 4K horror so all right that's it for 4k let's move on well it's been a while since i've had any arrow 
uh, in uh, my Blu-ray updates, but I picked this up in Texas at the Arrow booth. Had to get this. I've I wanted it since it came out, um, and that is the big, you know, box set from Arrow of the original Last House on the left. Um, it's such a cool box set. I don't really collect a lot of these box sets from Arrow. I like to get the slip covers and then just the standard Amrays, but this is just cool looking. Um, I had to grab it. It was really cheap. I mean, the Arrow was selling it for 25 bucks there, and I figured, you know what? I've been wanting to order it, and it's a little bit more expensive online, so I figured go ahead and grab it, but it's cool looking. You know, in their box sets, you know, you always get, you know, just the standard Amray, and then um, you get a big poster, and then, you know, a cool booklet. So I think I, I got this one. Um, I got the, like, the house two-story set. Got the Hellraiser Scarlet box set, and then I got... Uh, the original Hills Have Eyes. Those are the only box sets I have by Arrow, but just a beautiful set. Happy to have this now for the Arrow collection. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into my Vinegar Syndrome. I got a couple good uh, pickups uh, while I was in Texas at the Vinegar Syndrome booth. Uh, just kind of looking at them, and some of these are newer, um, new-ish, I think, but just kind of looking at them, reading the backs, looking at the slipcovers, and just kind of randomly pick three. They had a deal. You buy three, you get a deal, but... Can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't that bad. First one up here is a movie called Grave Robbers. Um, just, God, I can't talk about Vinegar Syndrome slipcovers enough. But uh, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to read that. Probably not. But um, I just love, you know, building up my Vinegar Syndrome collection. And, you know, they're just fun, old school um, horror films, you know, that they put out that you don't hear a lot about. So... Happy to grab that one. And then the other one I found there was Grandmother's House. This one doesn't really, doesn't have anything on the back that talks about the movie, but Grandmother's House looked kind of cool. And then The House of the Dead, which I believe that this one is an anthology film. Now, again, I don't know if you guys can read that on the back there or not, but... Um, yeah, I mean, they just look like pretty cool titles. I wanted to get more, but I, you know, didn't really have a ton of money with me. So I just grabbed these three. And then this last vinegar syndrome, um, I, I found this, believe it or not, at a half price books. I was out shopping, you know, one day last month and I found this for like, I don't know, I think it was like 15 bucks with a slip cover. And, uh, you don't really find many screen factories and vinegar syndromes and, Stuff like that out at Half Price Books, but somebody dropped this off there for sale. Uh, but uh, that is Mausoleum. And I, I don't, the movie itself, I don't think is really that expensive. If you get the movie without the slipcover, I think it's like 15 to 20 bucks, something like that. But I've been told that the slipcover is pretty rare and pretty expensive, which makes sense. You know, if you don't get the movie with the slipcover when they first get released, then you're going to pay up the ass for it uh, later on eBay or whatever. Uh, but I've been told that this is definitely a rare, hard hard one to find that's pretty spendy. And I found it, <laughs> you know, with movie with the slip at half price books for $15. I just couldn't believe it. So, I mean, it, it looks interesting, um, you know, but a vinegar syndrome for $15, I mean, hell yeah. So, um, and I did pick up some new vinegar syndrome from their uh, halfway to Black Friday sale uh, that was going on a couple weeks ago. Uh, which obviously you'll see in my next month update, so stay tuned for those. Okay, next up, the one and only Scream Factory title I picked up. Next month now, there's like there's like four collector editions uh, I'm going to have in my next month update for June. Uh, no collector editions in this update, just a, a double feature that I found. I found this out at uh, Fry's. Um, every time I go to Texas, I got to stop at Fry's because we don't have them here. And they have such a big movie collection, uh, uh, movie section um, in their store. And I found a couple cool titles there. I think like, I think maybe two or three, I can't remember. But um, I've been wanting to get this one. And that is the uh, double feature of Tales from the Crypt um, and uh, Vault of Horror. Um, I got, you know, obviously the other two Tales from the Crypt films, the collector editions, uh, Bordello of Blood and... Um, um, yeah, uh, wow, Cordello of Blood and, um, 
What was wrong with me? Um, Demon Knight. Whoo. Whoo. Craig's going to kill me when he finds out I couldn't think of that. But anyway, so I want to get this double feature because these Tales from the Crypt films are just so much fun. Um, and yeah, found it really cheap over there. So what the hell? All right. Yeah. The one and only Scream Factory I got. All right, now getting into the horror pickups. I just got a few of them, and a couple of these are actually more uh, Texas pickups. I found these uh, at a booth um, at the convention. Uh, first one up here is Sleigh Bells. This came out around Christmas time, this uh, last Christmas, and I was going to pick it up, but I didn't. Uh, I was going to grab it on Amazon, uh, but I didn't. I know my buddy Cray picked it up. It just looks like cheesy Christmas horror fun, uh, but uh, they had it at the booth. It was really cheap, so I grabbed that. They had like a two for special so i was really happy to pick up this because i really wanted this and that is uh to hell and back the uh kane hotter documentary i got both of these at that same booth it was like two for what was it two for 30 or something like that two for 35 i can't remember but um yeah i really wanted this one bad and you know i kind of wanted that one too so i just figured hey grab these both you know for the for the deal but i haven't watched this yet i, I i'm gonna watch this very soon because I'm just huge on documentaries, and I've heard that this is fantastic. So definitely we'll be watching this soon. So Next up here is a movie called Deathgasm. Um, I found this over at Half Price Books. I remember picking this up when this came out uh, a couple years ago over at Walmart on DVD. Um, and it's a movie that, like, Walmart, you know, they, they t tend to be really picky uh, when it comes to, like, titles of their movies, uh, you know, on their shelves because I know Walmart's like a family place kids come through there and you know they're they, they try to be careful with what their stuff says for example like uh, that movie Zack and Miri make a porno um, their edition on the shelves just said Zack and Miri it didn't say Zack and Miri make a porno um, and this was actually retitled um, um, heavy metal apocalypse um, is what it was called uh, on DVD. And I had it on DVD. Uh, but this is the actual name of the movie, is Deathgasm. Um, so had to pick up the Blu-ray edition of it with the official name. Um, and it's actually a pretty cool movie. Um, it's decent. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I always show this. I mean, I don't know why, because you guys probably can never read it. But uh, definitely something worth checking out. I mean, go watch the trailer for it, read about it. Um, it's pretty cool, so I happy to have that. And then the last horror pickup, the only one with a slip, and that is Happy Death Day to You. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I actually watched this movie because I, I really liked the first one. I thought the first one was a cool, you know, unique idea. You know, a horror version of Groundhog Day. It was just so cool. And uh, it, the sequel to this, you know, even seeing the trailer, just seemed like... Like one of those type of sequels that just, you know, redo the first one, you know. And that's really what this appeared to be. But I still gave it a chance. I watched it. And honest with you guys, this was really good. It was nothing that I expected it to be. Um, it, I mean, they did a fantastic job. You know, it, there's time travel in this movie. When I heard that term, I'm just like, oh my God, it's going to be so bad. Time travel, come on. But it, it's, I like the idea of the time travel. It, it's, it, it's a, it was a cool element that I think fit into this new story that they did in this movie. I know a lot of people probably are going to disagree with me saying this movie sucked, but I really liked it. I, I thought it was fun. And uh, there's even parts of this movie that were like pretty emotional, like, <laughs> like, like that were pretty damn sad that almost had me in tears. Um, I mean, that might sound funny to some of you guys, but I'm being honest. And I think it had a cool um, kind of like finale that just kind of, you know, just kind of finished off both movies together as one, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good. I would definitely, probably compared to the first one, I'd say they're about the same, in my opinions. But they're so connected. It's one of those type of sequels that are so connected to the first one, it's almost like one long movie. Uh, but you guys give it a chance. Um, if you guys haven't seen it yet because you have, you've heard bad shit about it, give it a chance. I think you'll like it. Okay, the one and only MVD Rewind. You guys actually seen this in an unboxing video, my last unboxing video that I did. Uh, that wasn't that long ago. Uh, um, 
I think it was like uh, like a week or so ago. Um, I actually did get this in May. Um, it just took that long for me to unbox it, but this came out on May 28th, so the end of May. Uh, but that is Double Impact. This is number eight, uh, 17, sorry. Number 17 in the MVD Rewind line. Um, so happy to have this, another Van Dam title uh, in, the, in the line. Um, and this was uh, definitely one of my favorite Van Damme films, so so happy to have that one. Okay, the one and only still book uh, that I got uh, in this update, and I'm just taking the discs out really quick here. And like most of the time when items get released to 4K for the first time, they usually have a still book too at Best Buy, uh, but that is Field of Dreams. I really dig this still book. It's really nice. It's got a gloss finish. There's the front, there's a back, and this is 4K spine. And then check out that picture on the inside. Love that. Really cool still book. But like, like I said, the only one I got in this update. And uh, next month now. Next month is definitely one of my uh, biggest uh, still book um, updates I've had in a long time. I got a ton. I cannot wait to show you guys. So, All right, a couple of Disney titles. It's been a while. Uh, finally uh, came to Blu-ray for the first time, um, you know, exclusive to the Disney Movie Club, um, and that is the two Goofy Movie movies. <laughs> goofy Movie movies. Um, first one, I, I was so happy to get. I just grabbed the second one, an extremely goofy movie, just to have them both, you know, because I, I try to collect every one of these, uh, um, you know, the Disney Movie Club exclusives, but... I enjoyed the second one. I mean, it's not as, you know, as good as this one, of course, but um, I just grabbed them both. But I even um, grabbed the first one for my buddy uh, Craig, too, because he was a big fan of this movie, too, and I uh, was excited to see this come to Blu-ray. So happy to have both of these in the Disney Movie Club. So, yeah, um, that's it for Disney. I think I, uh, I'm going to have a couple Disney um, in, uh, for my June update, so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, we got a series in this update, and so happy to have that, and that is Cobra Kai Season 2. Um, I actually picked this up from the same seller that I got the first one from. Um, they, um, they, you know, they, like, they make these, you know, and they're so legit. I mean, their copies are just so, like, professional looking. I mean, they got some badass disc art, and the, the picture quality is just fantastic. It's such a, you know... Uh, legit copy you know it's like i don't know what you want to call it it's just like i mean it's a very professional company but um i, ha I got the first one through them and now i got the second one i watched the second one on uh youtube premium or whatever they call it these days um youtube i don't know it used to be called youtube red but now it's something different but anyway um i you know i binge watched it um there and i just loved it i love the first season i think it's a fantastic show but I hate it. They always leave you leave you just on such a cliffhanger that you just can't wait to see what happens next. But fantastic show. So happy to get the season two from that same company. I was hoping that they would uh, um, make this one uh, as well. So, All right, now we're going to go ahead and end with A to Z. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you here is like... Another documentary type movie, and that is uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor, uh, a little documentary on uh, kind of like the, not so much like the life story of uh, Fred Rogers, but just kind of like the whole background on the show, you know, um, you know how the show got started and everything, and um, it was really good. I watched it. Um, I just, I'm a nut for documentaries. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend this, you guys. I mean, if you're my age and you grew up with this show, it's very interesting to see how it kind of got put together and, you know, kind of what he went through um, and, you know, things like that. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really pumped for the movie that comes out later this year where Tom Hanks is playing him. Um, you know, it's just, it's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait to see it. So, uh, but, yeah, I just thought it was really good. Cool little documentary. Definitely recommend that. All right, we'll go ahead and start with non-slips. So the first one up here is Babe. Found this at Half Price Books. Fun, cute movie. You know, I know the kids enjoy it. I know uh, Jess enjoys it, so had to grab that. And actually, uh, I think, other than Won't You Be My Neighbor, I think Babe was the only non-slip. So just a couple more here. 
the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Had to grab it. I got all the other ones. Um, I haven't watched this yet. Um, I've seen the, you know, the first Lego movie. I saw the Lego Batman movie. I, I own Lego Ninjago movie. I just haven't seen it. I actually heard it's pretty funny. I just haven't watched it yet because I don't really know a lot about Lego Ninjago. But anyway... Um, but this, this looks good. I, I gotta check this out soon, because, uh, uh, I really enjoyed the first one of these. A new John Travolta film I picked up last month, um, one of those straight-to-video ones, but Trading Paint. Um, it just sounded kind of interesting, and I'm saving this to watch it with my parents when they come over, because they, they kind of want to see it. My mom really likes John Travolta. Um, but, uh, it, it looks kind of interesting. I mean, some of these straight-to-video uh, movies aren't that bad, but if you guys can read that, hopefully. Uh, just like a racing movie with him and his, um, uh, like him and his son, uh, in the movie. And apparently they get in this, like, fight and they kind of go at each other, race against each other or something. I don't know. It, it sounded kind of cool. I had to pick this up when it came out because I got the first two and I know the kids love these movies. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. This is the third one in the franchise. I haven't seen any of these, I don't think. Um, yeah, no, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen any, any one of these movies, but I know Jess loves them. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, I, I love DreamWorks movies. I just never watched these for some reason, but uh, I had to grab it for the kids. And the last title in this update is another uh, pickup that I found over at Fry's when I was in Texas. A movie that I tried finding at Walmart, you know, for the longest time. I could never find it. And that is Neighbors with uh, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. Um, so this was one of those, you know, retro VHS slipcovers that came out a couple months ago. Um, a lot of these showed up at Walmart when they first started coming out. But uh, this was like, kind of like the second batch. This was in the second batch. And this was pretty much the only one I wanted from the second batch. Uh, but I could never find this second batch in store. And now they got the third batch that just recently came out that aren't in stores either. So, uh, But <laughs> I found it at Fry's of all places. Um, and it was new. Uh, so I don't know how they ended up with it. Because you know, I thought this was, you know, you can only get it at Walmart. But I don't know, I guess not. But uh, a really funny movie. Um, but, you know, with Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi. But uh, happy to have it. And I just love those VHS slipcovers. So, yeah. All right, everybody. That'll do it all my pickups for the month of May. And uh, I know it's a little late as usual, um, you know, getting this video out. I, I always say I'm going to get it in the beginning of the month. I never do because I get busy with so much shit around here. But uh, there you have it. So June is looking kick-ass. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, I got lots of still books in that update. I cannot wait to show you guys. And just all sorts of stuff. And honestly, I think I've already doubled um, what I... Uh, got for this month, you know, 27 in this, uh, in, in this update. And I think I've gotten already like 50 something, uh, for the month of June. So we're stacking up again. Yeah, we are. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it did give it a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the pickups for this month or for the month of May. Share the video around, subscribe if you have not, hit that notification bell so you are always notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.